Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. I have a very exciting video today. We are going to discuss gold, silver, British pound, uh, euro, and US dollar. And I'll also present a chart where we look at it how fastly uh, market can actually drop. We are going to look at a special um, chart as well, which is probably not going to be special for someone who has already seen that particular uh, area of the the chart but we will definitely refer to it <coughs> the reason I said uh, today's video is very exciting is because I believe that we are very very close to the completion of wave 2 uh, within gold and we are also very close to the completion of wave 2 within silver as well so very exciting uh, Joro seems to be completing its correctional pattern as well and so does uh, British pound so very very exciting um, and especially gold and silver we have been waiting for and the drop and I believe that we are very very close to the the drop that we have been waiting for uh, today's put push definitely last two three days were really bullish poor price movement and uh, we look into it I think that we are very very close to the bearish uh, strong bearish move that we have uh, first of all the uh, let me have a look uh, we need to understand that What's the larger pattern that we are looking at it? So let me go quickly do that on a monthly time frame, and then we'll come back and discuss lower. So I believe that we are going to complete this correctional pattern. Uh, wave A, Wave B, and Wave C. Uh, wave B top has been completed recently, a few months back, and then we are going to see a sharp move downward. Uh, in case of A, B, C corrections, which is 335 corrections or flat corrections, in some of the instances, we C can be really sharp, and I believe that we are into one. I believe that we are expected to see a bottom being formed in gold and silver around end of August 2024. So not hardly uh, six months left. We have just started the month of March. So we have six months duration uh, to complete a major, major drop in gold and silver. Uh, this is the larger pattern. I'm expecting that we have completed wave one and two. Uh, we have completed wave three. And I believe that we will be completing wave four after we are after that, I believe that we are into a longer duration um, bullish market somewhere around at least 10 years or so. That will be very exciting. Approximately 10 years, something like this. Even more stronger because uh, commodities tend to complete the fifth wave with a uh, stronger punch. All right. Especially in a, in, in a large cycle like this, fifth wave is traditionally very strong especially even more stronger than wave three so that'll be interesting to see but before that can happen we need to see the completion of the pattern <coughs> pardon me um i have uh, canada is going through right now a running cuff um and it is taking way longer than fix it um so pardon me anytime you hear it please so let's have a look on uh on a daily chart this is the the chart i'm looking for i believe that we have completed the top right over here and we are very very close to completing the wave two right over here and then we should head downwards right over here there are uh, some instances uh, where i have to find the better uh, price target uh, approach and i'm working on it uh, as, soon, as soon as we have done with it i think we'll uh, come up with more accuracy so here is the the pattern that we have completed recently uh, what we can do is that we can wait for the prices to drop and by that means we can as soon as the prices drop significantly we can say that we are top has been made so simply do not get short on on the top uh, for example we can wait for the uh, break of this top right over here so the previous top is at 2088 so if prices drops below the previous top which is 2088 that will be a confirmation that we have seen a top in that case you can use that stop loss do not simply look at the pattern and say that okay we have seen a top right over here do not go short there could be something going on else as well that's why we need to wait for the confirmation of return that the prices are con uh, are changing the direction and that's the time you commit and then you uh, take a trade on the bearish side one thing i can tell you certainly and that when the price starts breaking on the bearish side we will see very strong bearish action very strong bearish action and the chart i wanted to show you guys it was australian dollar uh, I was looking just through going through the charts and I wanted to show you a chart. Uh, let me have a look. Where is our um, Forex? 
so I wanted to show you how quickly uh, the drop can occur this is the Australian journal chart and we need to go on see monthly chart okay so what I'm referring to is this move right from the top which is 0.982 and see how sharply the move completed all right so uh, nobody was expecting such bearish price action in such a smaller amount of time period one bar is equal to one month so we have one two three four within four months time we have seen a massive massive drop in the price of Australian dollar against US dollar so similar reaction a similar pass action is expected in gold be, be sure that we are to see a very strong bearish price action and beware of it so let's have a look at uh, <coughs> at the silver chart now okay we can look at the silver chart silver is going through very interesting um, pattern okay on a larger time frame we are expecting silver to complete this pattern which is wave a wave b and wave c wave c, which is a 535 five structure <coughs> now within the wave c we are expecting the wave c to be a uh, ending diagonal a diverging ending diagonal not a converging one so we have completed wave one and two three and four and we are going to right now wave five within wave five we have completed a and b and right now we are going through wave c within wave c we have also completed sub wave one and sub wave two is also close to the completion i'll show you wave uh, one is very very interesting and it's a leading diagonal with clear truncation okay so we have wave one and two three and four complete and wave five i clearly told in my previous analysis that this is a truncated weight uh, we were waiting for a pullback which did happen right around the right over here so just a bit of pullback and prices have gone beyond right over here which are entered into the previous territory this is wave four territory and this is wave two territory so this is the top of the wave two territory i believe that we shall be seeing a top forming below that top or around that top so we are very very close to the completion of the top we are expecting that the wave two is probably going to complete within a day or two so we are very very close to the completion of two we were expecting something like this in wave two but i've seen um, price behavior in gold and i believe that we are very close to the um, massive bearish price action so that's why i think that we are very close to the completion of wave two as well this is the important part of analysis which i have not indicated in my previous analysis uh, and we can see that this sharper move we can call it a triple zigzag if you want on a smaller time frame so beware and uh, that you can wait for the prices to drop uh, below this top which is previous top of wave four so 2350 wait for the prices to drop below 2350 that will be our confirmation that we have completed the top at that time you can go short all right we just do not use the longer time frame simply do not get short over here there's a possibility we might have a one uh, swing left up so the same possibility goes in gold as well there is a possibility we might have a swing left up just a little more price movement and the top can easily be taken out in that case we'll have to look at the pattern again especially in gold i'm not expecting that the top will be taken out in silver but within gold we are very close to the top so be very careful wait for the prices to drop below the previous top which is right one over here so I'm expecting that to as soon as this happened, that will continue, that will confirm that a top has been made, and that will be top of wave two. And then I believe that we will not have to wait for the confirmation. The prices will be very strong to break the lower low, these lows, one, two, and three lows. So these are basically almost triple lows right over here. So I'm expecting that we are at that time in which not much time is left in uh, the completion of gold and silver. And I believe that we are heading towards a strong bearish price action in weeks to come. So we are very, we are um, waiting for very interesting times to happen. Let's have a look at uh, Euro and we look at the Euro. The Euro is also making important uh, correction patterns. And also be uh, discussing silver, uh, sorry, uh, British pound as well. So as far as the longer time frame structure is concerned, I wanted to show you the longer time frame structure. 
so that you have some idea what's happening uh, this is my uh, analysis we have completed wave 5 to the top and we are waiting for the a b c structure to complete i believe that we have completed the top of wave b uh, look at this structure this has come um, lower than the previous uh, low that we have of wave 4 therefore i'm, I'm waiting for the, the price action to come back a little more uh, significantly lower as compared to this low and maybe create a top somewhere around in this region uh, which is uh, just the beginning which is the beginning of the extended wave right over here on the downside or the end of the extended wave B which is a B C structure so this structure this area is very important we can go just a bit above as well so important area I'm expecting a stronger bearish action in euro to in days to come I would say three to four weeks we should see stronger price action on the downside um, but before we do that, we need to have a look at a four-hour time frame. <coughs> so, in my previous analysis, I told you guys that there is a possibility. The one uh, main count says that we have completed the top right over here, and we are going through a correction. However, if the price goes beyond that, in that case, we can draw a, draw a trend uh, line right over here. This is our alternate count. And that in case the price goes beyond that right over here we wait for the break of the prior the trend line and to go short all right but i think that we have uh, seen the top right over here so is it, this is a pretty interesting structure we have, can look at a, a hourly time frame and this is very interesting structure so the structure it looks to me that we are going the double c structure i'm considering this is sub wave one and this is sub wave two all right so we can simply clear this as start of the pattern this is wave one right over here and this is wave two going to be completed soon and i'll discuss this structure and then we'll have three four and five on the downside okay so let me go have a look and we can see that the this is wave is much smaller degree so this is not intermediate we are looking at uh, i would say minor degree waves it's a larger and then we look at sub waves as well within the the within the minute wave waves so this is it so the structure that i'm looking at is i'm considering this is as an a b and a c structure or double zigzag structure you can clearly see a b and c structure and x another a b and c structure so we are considering it as a double zigzag structure which is a three wave structure and this is a single wave uh, sub wave zigzag so this is our w and this is our x and then we are considering this as a flat correction so it's the whole structure seems to be a double three structure the first part is zigzag then we we have a zigzag and then we have a flat correction within flat correction we have wave a and wave b right over here and wave b ending right over here this is wave one and two which is a, if you look at a 15 minute chart you can see a, a move like that and then we have seen the price is going upward and then we can see the uh, double three structure on a smaller time frame which is a flat correction first then a zigzag and then another move i believe that the there is a probability either we have completed the top right over here in that case we have to look at the sub waves once again but if the top goes up just once more time then we can still wait that the prices are not going to go beyond that all right so we are waiting for the prices to go above and as soon as the prices go above we can wait for the price uh, we can draw a trend line joining this point and that point okay these two points and in case prices have actually dropped below this area which is you can see there is a lot of noise coming right over here so we can simply say this area which is 1.08 if you are a little more riskier then you can choose this level which is 1.08380 if the prices blow breaks below this convincingly then we will say that at the top has been made but it looks to me that gold and silver are also expected to create just a bit more move and a similar case is expected in uh, euro as well probably and we also need to keep in mind and uh, the alternate count there's a big possibility that we have not uh, there's alternate count says that the possibility that we have not created a top right over here in this case we have can say this is a 5 wave structure this is a 3 wave structure another 5 wave structure is expected and we can see a new high so keep that in mind but this area is definitely definitely important a clear break below 1.07993 would indicate that a top has been made whether here or over here and in that case you can go short and that short wave structure has a lot of room i already showed you on the bearish side 
British pound is also completing a similar structure which euro and the US dollar are completing on a larger time frame but the structure is more messier the reason is because uh, British pound seems to be more stronger or on, on this time duration and the less volatility is expected in British pound so we'll come and discuss that uh, let's have a look on daily time frame chart to see what the larger pattern is and how I have done the labeling so I believe that the long we have created an important bottom right over here from this bottom we have completed a five wave structure we have wave A and B complete I believe that B has already been made and the important point right here too if you look at the price level of wave A it has not gone beyond the price structure of wave 4 in which case that seems that this is a very very important supporting area and we are not expecting to break this area when the price comes down you can see right now that when price comes down from this over here when you're not expecting to to break this area because the first attempt failed so you're going to say that the support is holding really good so this is one indication in euro we can see that support has already been broken so that's interesting point that if you can use this in your regular analysis let me save this chart so we are expecting that the top has been made already and then we are expecting to see uh, lower sub waves correction completing and we are expecting for the swings to come back down and form uh, complete the structure somewhere over here once again timeline is expected to be completing within three to four weeks uh, and i'm thinking that the bottom would form let's have a look on our daily time uh, four hourly time frame to see if we can actually find some very nice uh, structures as well <coughs> So one structure that we can look at definitely is this structure. We can see that this is um, price moving downward and the correction has gone. Uh, if you look at this structure, this is almost like double two and the correction has gone very close to the beginning of the price movement right over here. Okay, we can use the and once again, if you look at the we have already seen at the drop and then we are also seeing the top being made right over here. There is a possibility that the structure you can see we have already seen double top is very very close of completing. Uh, I see either the structure is complete over here or we are going to complete over here. All right, let's have a look on hourly time frame, see which is possible. So you can see the structure here over A, B, and C structure. Could it be possible that we have already seen the top right over here? There is a possibility, but this is very close to the. Uh, to the um, impulse wave supposedly impulse wave top as well so be ready in case the price goes beyond in that case what we can do is we can wait for the prices to come down and block uh, um, uh, sorry break this point that will confirm that a top has been made so we are bearish in euro we are bearish in British pound as well all right let me have a look and if you can find the point I was looking at this structure this is pretty useful structure on its own but in case something else is going on we can definitely use trend line uh, and we can see the price drops below the trend line that will be a confirmation if it blows draws below the horizontal support area there will also be confirmation that a top has been made uh, I'm bearish for three to four weeks to come in British pound as well it's the same structure that we are seeing in gold, uh, sorry, in uh, euro and in US dollar. And I'll show you the one in US dollar as well. So US dollar is also showing a beautiful pattern structure. It is more clearer than the one in British pound. So we have here the structure that we are looking at. Let me delete this so you can actually see. So I believe that US dollar has created a top already. We have a clear wave 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 structure. And you can see that the first part has gone beyond the wave the past uh, the support point of wave 4 giving an indication that a higher high is expected uh, maybe somewhere over here we can see a 109.60 110 as well so very possibility when this structure is very clear uh, and that's what we are focusing on so we, I'm <coughs> pardon me I'm bullish on I'm bullish on US dollar let's have a look <coughs> so the beautiful structure is more clear we have this impulsive wave on the upside which we have a zigzag pattern right over here we have another zigzag pattern this is a zigzag is the double zigzag this is a single zigzag and we have an a b and c structure okay let's have a look that if we can actually label it so we can simply start as point as zero and this is wave one and that will be our wave two and then we're expecting three four and five of a higher degree we will have sub waves as well keep that in mind 
So um, we can see on a 15 minute chart, I want to show you the beautiful structure that we are looking at it. So this is a double zigzag, you can clearly see. This is wave A, or wave, sorry, wave W, and this is wave X, which is a zigzag, and then we have a flat correction, which is which completes double three structure, all right? So here the structure is more clear. We can see that although it's very struggling, there is a possibility that we can actually see the price come down right over here. You can, do you see this structure? We can actually see the prices come down right over here too, okay? Stronger possibility. Let me have a look. Okay, this structure is clearer than one in uh, uh, your as well. So that can help us to look at the chart better. So we are considering it as a 3, 3, 5 structure. So which is a A, B, and C structure. A, B, and C structure. And in that case, we are looking at it as a 5 wave structure. One, two, three, four, five. Five structure is not complete. The fifth wave is not complete yet. It's very ugly looking. Um, you're very ugly looking. You're not going to like it. Very ugly looking pattern called what? You have to tell me. All right. So the first leg, correction, second leg right over here, Alright, we'll wait for the break of the top right over here clearly. If the top is gets broken, we can go long right over here. In that case, there is a possibility we are wrong about this structure. Otherwise, we are looking for this structure to complete. Alright? But the, the point is that we are, don't have to look on a smaller time frame too much. We have, This is the support zone area. We can clearly see a bounce above. So, we need to wait just a bit more, maybe somewhere we need to clear 104, 10, 104 something to get a confirmation that we have seen a bottom right over here. I hope that you guys get the point and not worry about the very small, maybe I'm wrong on a very small time duration. There's a possibility we can take as an alternate count, so we need to wait for a break of 104 to confirm that a bottom has been made. In that case, we can go long on US dollar. Anyway, very, very interesting times ahead of us for gold and silver. Uh, very strong move on the bearish side for euro is expected. And uh, uh, US dollar is expected to create a stronger move towards 110. Uh, sorry, 110. Uh, it's right now trading just at 1.392. So interesting weeks ahead. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.